today's story was submitted by Allison, Redondo Beach, California. My first whip was a 1986 Toyota Celica, or Celica, depending whether you're north of the border or in the United States. I was in Chicago and had just graduated college and a few months to put play before starting my new job in Redondo Beach, California. My grandmother left me money for graduate school, but my job was paying for it, so I had dollars for a new car. My dad was a big fan of Toyotas, so we decided to get one too. I went to the car dealership by myself. I am 22 years old and could pay cash for the car. I was fit from a summer lifeguarding job and the salesman did not take me seriously. He would not work on the price at all. Reluctantly, I brought my dad in and surprisingly, the price dropped several thousand dollars. Sadly, at the time, I did not realize this would not be the only time in my life to experience not being taken seriously as a woman as I was about to embark on a career as a woman in technology. Moving day comes and including in my job offer was free shipping of the car to California. The 18-wheeler rolls down our Chicago city street making a big scene, which I loved. And they had a perfectly carved niche for my car with shelves above and sides to the load up the truck with the rest of the stuff and many other things. It was the perfect first car. Fast, a little showy at the time, I felt like a grown-up. One of my first memories was driving through Manhattan Beach. Turned up the street from the beach and everyone is yelling at me. Didn't know they had things called walk streets where cars were not allowed. I guess the big curb should have been the clue, but oops. Welcome to SoCal. I had many cars since then, but nothing like buying your first car. I had learned the art of negotiating since that first time and now don't need help shopping for cars, but I've left many an exacerbated salesman in my wake. Hello, Allison. I love reading this story, especially how you've been able to negotiate more sweet whips in your life. So great job there. Uh, you, I think you'd be just really surprised how much these Toyotas have gained in a following and they'd be quite a value if you'd kept it now and I also do appreciate you've discovered whip free zones. I'm sure there's many a pedestrian who thank you.